what's up everybody welcome back to the channel just wanted to give you guys an update um, I haven't been on here in a while and I've been working on a huge new project I've been doing a bunch of 3d artwork um, and I've been kind of immersed in it so I haven't really been recording or posting any videos here on YouTube so I will be starting now and the first thing I'm doing is moving almost everything out of my garage and um, right here in the background I'm gonna have my easel set up um, my 48 by 48 inch wall easel and then I've got my workbench over here so we're gonna get almost everything cleaned out so I have a full-on workspace and I have a couple really cool announcements coming up some new equipment that I'm getting and some new things that I'm doing to where I'm turning my whole garage into my art studio including all of my 3d and my woodworking stuff so stay tuned I'll post some video of this and kind of keep you guys updated and show you how the studio turns out so you have a before and after So lots of work done today. I'm happy to show you guys the after. Um, it's not completely finished, but it's everything I got done today. So you'll be able to look around. I'll pan around behind me. I'll show you how I got my easel set up. I've got all my woodworking stuff over here. I've got my easel behind me. I got my rug set up and then I got all of my painting supplies and whatnot. So let's turn this camera around and let's take a look at everything I've gotten right. done. So a lot of that still needs to be organized, but this has a lot of my normal tools, not my art stuff, not my woodworking stuff. A lot of my regular household tools, the stuff I use on a daily basis. Um, this is entire my entire woodworking bench. I've got my table saw set up, all my screws and everything underneath with all my bits, my air compressor, all my small pieces of wood, my sander. Everything is already under there where I needed everything's at like, you know, uh, uh, just a reach away as well as my miter saw and my entire pegboard up there. So this is all old stuff. This is all I've been using for years to build my panels and build my frames for my artwork. Um, but this is all new. So I brought everything in from my bedroom in the house that I was using as my studio. I brought my 48 inch by 48 inch wall easel out and got that set up. Um, and then I also brought out my entire workbench for that. So we'll go over there and see how that works. So this has a bunch of screws so I can hang canvases or, or panels anywhere I like them. It also stands on like a kickstand off the wall so I can actually lay it flat against the wall if I want. Um, I keep another easel back in there but I usually use it for varnishing or displaying so I put it out in the yard and things like that. I keep a lot of my mediums and my paints and like my GoPro stuff up there. This is my glass um, palette here. I usually put a piece of tape up the side to put like my dabs of paint and then everything sprays off and cleans off easily. And then all of my rum buckets for, for my brushes and my water and whatnot all go here. Um, miscellaneous junk in this drawer. And then in here I keep all my tapes, my glue gun, my, my stamper, my business cards, all that stuff stays in there. And then in here is all my paints. So I keep everything kind of lined up and organized in there. Sometimes it's an absolute disaster, but today it's okay. And then I will set you guys down and I want to show you some of the new artwork that I've been doing. So we'll drop this right here and this will be the new backdrop for a lot of my videos. You guys will be able to come check out and see everything that I'm working on and any video you see from now on will probably have this backdrop here and uh, it'll be out of my other studio, but still kind of look the same. So I've been doing these 3D pieces where I'm cutting out the pieces of wood. And with the wood, I'm cutting out all separate pieces and I'm painting them separately. And then I'm actually layering them on the canvas coming forward in different layers. And it kind of gives me a whole new effect. And it's been something that's super motivating and super um, moving for me. So I'm excited for this series of artwork. And then I'll show you the next one I did. And I've probably done about 10 of these since I've posted a video on YouTube before, but this is the latest one. And this body of work I'm actually getting ready to show. I have a show July 3rd coming up. Um, and I'll be showing about 10 of these pieces live at that show. I'll be hanging out painting live. It's for First Saturday Art Walk. 
at Thay's Gallery in Ormond Beach. It's right on Granada. So I'll be there from 5 to 8 p.m. doing that. But this is the newest one. She said there had to be a turtle in the show, so I definitely got on that really quick. So I put the turtle in here, I put it at an angle, I brought the coral out so you can see everything kind of like fits behind its 3D. And then I went with a four and a half inch gray washed pine frame to kind of wrap it all up and make it look nice. So this piece came out really good. I was really excited about it. And I'm really excited to show you guys the entire process I'm putting into these. So thank you for joining in today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or share if you're checking out the channel and uh, you want to see what's coming up next on my videos. Um, probably the next few ones will be me showing you how I've cut out everything, paint it, and then put it together and frame it in, and how I do an entire piece. And then I'll be doing some time lapses um, of me doing entire pieces, and that'll kind of be where my channel goes from here. Um, a lot of new equipment coming in and some really excited ch changes coming that I can't release yet, but I look forward to see you guys in the video in the future. Thank you.